If you want to be precise with your placements inside of your storyboards, then what you can do is you can use the help of the different uh, grids or uh, grid option that you have right here. So if I were to click on the thumbnail view, then once you click on this, you can see that it turns into this low resolution thumbnail uh, as a preview of how it would look like if it was turned onto a simple thumbnail. Over here, there's different options like 12 field grid right here. So if you were to turn that on right here, turn off the thumbnail, then you can see that you get a grid over here instead. So you can see that you have a grid right here that is a 12 uh, place grid right here. You can also go around onto the view on grid option right here. And instead of 12 uh, field grid, you can also see 16 field right here. You can zoom out by using the scroll mouse button and you can see more area to work with right here. Similarly, you can go to grid and go for, let's say, for example, a 16 by 12 field grid right here and choose around the option over here according to how you like it, just like this. And you can see you got different grid options, which will help you to be precise with your drawings right here. Similarly, you can go around over here and there's action safe area, as you can see. So if you were to turn this on, you can also turn on multiple grids all at once. As you can see, the action safe is there to help you uh, know what part are safe uh, for action. Let's say, for example, you can see that this dotted line right here, it is the safe zone. So if you want your audience to, audiences to view a certain uh, a certain thing, then it should be there on this action safe zone, as you can see right here. Similarly, you got like title safe over here as well. So title safe area is where you want to include out your text right here. So if you were to type in some text right here, then this is the field. So that's the accent safe and this is the title safe right here. So over here, the other grid that you have is four by three safe right here. So if uh, uh, the uh, if the final footage is going to be cropped off into, let's say, for example, a traditional four by three setting, then this is the safe area right here. So if you want to target that out as well, then this is the action safe for the four by three. And this is the, is the title safe for four by three, as you can see. So over here, the other option that you have is the four by three area. So this is the four by three area right here, as you can see. And these, the, these are the action safe for four by three. So similarly, you got, you, you got another option right here called camera mask. So you'll only see what the camera sees on this very view right here. So on this view, you can see that uh, you, you only see the camera, camera view right here and everything else is hidden out. And finally, you got the proportional grid right here, which displays out the rule of thirds grid right here. So for your placement, if you want, um, uh, if you want a reference point, uh, three of, um, a rule of third reference point, then you can enable this. So this is how you can go around and enable out multiple grids at once as well and utilize the grid according to how you like it and see different uh, uh, grid lines as you can see right here to help you with designing. So that is how you can work around with different board grids inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.